Okay, coming soon. Uh, I have to get the tester done for this. The DS2482-800. Um, if you like the DS2484, which is a single channel I2C to one wire converter, you're going to love the 82800, which has eight channels of one wire connected to a single chip that you can communicate over I2C. And guess what? It's even like code compatible with the 2484. It's basically the same driver, except it has now one more command called change channel. Um, coming soon, we'll probably highlight it again when we uh, get it in stop. Um, but what's nice about this is that if you have eight temperature sensors and you don't want to like write down the ROM IDs to know which one is which, you just connect one on each one of the channels and boom, now you've got uh, an easy way to differentiate eight separate one wire signals or temperatures and you can change the I2C address as well. Okay, and uh, the Star Show tonight said you lady to our community, our team, our customers. Uh, it's a bunch of bus pirate stuff. So we'll start with the bus pirate and then the accessories. Okay, so um, first off, yes, the Bus Pirate 5, which I'm super excited about because we carried the Bus Pirate 4 yeah. for a lot, or the 3, I don't even remember. We've, we've carried it for like more than a decade. Um, and then during the chip shortage, uh, the PIC 32, I think that it was using, got like kind of impossible yeah. to get. And um, Wear Labs, Ian Lesnet and team decided let's redo the whole thing using the RP2040, which is the correct chip to use because it's like using yeah. PIO, it's super fast. They did a great job. Um, I did like a design for like a, a circuit pirate, um, which was kind of like a- Yeah, we did protocol droid. But it's like, I think they did a better job. Maybe, I think I might rework the protocol droid to be some other chip, but this is sure. this is better. I love that it has a screen. It's got these cool. labeled um, outputs. That can, can you go to the overhead? Because I'm going yeah. It's currently, yeah, look at this. What's, the, what's going on here? Unfortunately, step camera has stopped. Sorry, I confused it because I plugged it in. Oh, yeah? Oh, it's totally, like, upset. Oh, because you plugged in um, something. Oh, yeah. It doesn't, doesn't like that. It doesn't like that at all. Oh, boy. Okay, I can't leave the demo then, huh? Well, it's coming back. It came back. Okay. You could turn on the light if you want. Yes. You oh, bus pirated it. I bus pirated it. Arg. Okay. Okay. So this is the... I had it plugged in, but then um, I can't... I, mean, if you, I, I could plug it into your thing. But what is this, a USB-C? It's a USB-A. You could plug it into there. Uh, how about you a risk it? Yeah, I'm a little risk it. Sure, why not? Okay. I don't think it's going to destroy your computer. Bad idea. I'm going to hack the system. Okay. Because I plugged into this because I thought it was just power, but apparently it should have been able to connect to It does? Yeah. Okay. I guess you can make store files on it. Yeah, all right. Move <laughs> the other way. So he said, all right. Oh, was that? Is it? This is used me. It always takes three times. Yeah, okay. Let's okay. Go. Thank you. We're live. Okay. Uh, okay. So this is the, and then you know, it's funny. They can turn on the light because it's now so light. Um, so this is the drive, yeah. Yeah. So this is the um, Bus Pirate 5. It's got like NeoPixels. There's no way to just, you, you have to wait. And uh -huh. it goes away. Yeah, I can't figure out how to. Okay. That's cool. That's yeah, fine. That's fine. Um, we're got the pixels, yeah, whatever. It's cool. We're hackers. Uh, it's got labeled outputs, and then you can attach like cool stuff to the end here. So, for example, one of the things you can get, I'm just going to show everything at the same time, is the probe kit. So, okay. if you're like, you're like, oh, I want to like attach this to circuitry. Okay, I'm going to just go through these images of all these different things while you're. Well, let's go to the probe kit, which is like the second image you've got there. You want this? Yeah. So that's what I'm going to show next. So this, and now we can go back to the overhead. Yeah. So this is um, the probe connector. You see it's got this keyed slot. You plug it in and boom, you've got these really nice silicone cable tips. And each one of them has heat shrink labeling. Wow. Nice. See. Color coding. And uh, best of all, the black wire is ground. So <laughs> that's a light. And then you also get, hold on, I'll just drop it in my kit. You get um, probes. So these are really nice little um, grippy probes. Let's check them out. These are your uh, kind of standard logic analyzer probes. Actually, we'll be able to. Okay. So you can um, plug this into here. And now you've got your Beep. nice 
Grippy Pro, you can grab stuff and then you do lots. And this is, this is, you know, it's like a little inexpensive with this one play one. And um, they have a good feel and they've got good tips, which is nice. And then the other thing you get are these like, I saw like they were working on machining these for like a long time. These are like luxurious breadboard tips. So instead of just having like, you know, um, one by one pin, they actually got um, machined pins. Yeah. And you can plug this into a breadboard and it's like perfect. So very luxurious probes. And then not only do you have these luxurious probes, but there's other accessories. So let's go to... Yeah, well, we just showed that. And okay. then what else you got? So this yeah. is a thing that plugs in and lets you program... Um, wide and non-wide SPI flash chips. So if you have like your 25C32 or whatever, standard like SPI flash chips that are used in motherboards or um, configuration chips or like routers, whatever, it's like they're, they're usually used for storing file systems or configurations or data logs, whatever. Um, you can now read and write them from your bus pirate very easily without having to clip or desolder anything. And um, I like this. This is just a little like spring loaded um, wire output. This is good for stranded wire, particularly because, you know, solid core wire, you could probably just plug in um, directly, but uh, into the into the probe cable. But this is, you want to make your own wire harness. And I like how each one, you know, they have this little silk screen printing on top. So you know which one is ground and which one is power. And then you have the uh, eight GPIO. All right. Well, that's new products. Bus Pirates in stock. You can get it now. Um, this is coming soon. And we have these accessories as well. Good showing. Indeed, yeah. Just and the then the, the main product is with the case. So you with get the case. The case. All right. That's new products. Yay.